Hi, it's Miss Lisa. I just wanted to let everybody know that to today's toddler story time is more of a typical toddler story time. We actually only got through one book. So this is what I call a one book story time. Um, the rest of the time we just did a lot of fun stuff and different things. So I tried to um, include as much of it, the story time as I could, but I did put all three books in there. But the act, uh, activity level of the kids was uh, woo, extreme today. But I just wanted to tell everybody, I hope you have a happy holiday and a Merry Christmas and a healthy and safe New Year. Reach way up and touch the sky. Stand up and stretch your arms. Come on, it's not just me, it's you. You have to stretch out so you don't pull a muscle when we're winding the bobbin up. Stand up. Stand up. Bend down low and touch your toes. Spread your arms way out wide. Give your hands a clap, clap, clap. Reach way up and touch the sky. Bend down low and touch your toes. Spread your arms way out wide. Give your hands a clap, clap, clap. Okay, listen. Is there an egg in your bucket today? No. Oh, I guess we'll have to use the jingle bells then. Oh boy. Can you use the jingle bells? Yes. Send the egg today. We're going to shake our jingle bells. I don't see an egg. I don't see an egg. Ready? Get your jingle bells. You're welcome. Get your jingle bells. Okay, you like it. Get your jingle bells. Yay! Where's your bells? Get your bells. One, two, three, 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 two, Struck one, the mouse ran down all the way down there. 
Hickory, dickory, dock. Good job, good job. Don't leave it there for the next person. Here, give me the mouse. You're not holding on to me, sister. Can I do it? Here you go. Who wants, you ready? Okay. Yeah. There's the mouse. Hickory, dickory, dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one, the mouse ran down. Hickory, dickory, dock. Good job, good job. Okay, put the mouse down there. <laughs> One of you guys want to do it? You want to do it? Yeah. You want to do it? Come on, come up here. Oh. Here's the mouse. Okay, there's the mouse. Ready? Here we go. Hold on to the mouse. Hickory, dickory, dock. The mouse went up the clock. The clock struck one. The mouse ran down. Hickory, dickory, dock. Good job. Stick your mouse right there. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Watch. You want to do it? No, no, you're good. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Here's your mouse. Okay, here he goes. Ready? He's going to go up the, up the clock. So pull him off there. Pull him off. There. Hickory, dickory, dock the clock. The mouse ran up the clock. Way up at the top. The clock struck one. The mouse ran down, 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 down. Put your mouse down here. Bring them out. Well, good job. Good job. Bring them out here. Hickory, dickory, dock. Stick him right there. Good job. Good job. That's why he loses his tail so often. Like, <laughs> okay. Everybody had a turn? Okay, listen. We are going to put your bells on because we're going to do jingle bells. Oh, put your bells. This is the one we found. Yeah. Good. 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 Because that's the ones I found. Oh, I'm really excited. Big bells for big people. Little bells. This one we're going to jump a little bit. I like that one. Oh, there. Sorry. Sorry. Jingle your bells.
Okay, we're going to read a story. This book's called Three Little Kittens. Three Little Kittens. One morning, three little kittens were playing outside. Do I smell? I smell it too. I think it is. What's she making? Mama's in there baking a pie. Yes, yum. I hope you haven't lost your mittens again. Uh-oh. But they had lost their mittens. Are we missing something? Oops, I just had them. And then they began to cry. Oh, mother dear, we sadly fear our mittens we have lost. Oh, look, they're so sad. What? Lost your mittens, you naughty kittens. Then you shall have no pie. No pie? Not until you find your mittens. Meow, meow, meow. We shall have no pie. Our mittens we have lost. Look at them, they're crying. The three little kittens... They found their mittens and they began to smile. Watch out, pie, here we come. Look, they found their mittens, red ones, yellow ones, and green ones. Oh, mother dear, see here, see here, our mittens we have found. What, found your mittens, you good little kittens? Now you shall have some pie. Meow, 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 we shall have some pie. Let us have some pie. Oh no, the three little kittens put on their mittens and soon ate up the pie. Look at the mess. Oops, ooh, gross. They made a big mess with the pie. Oh, mother dear, we greatly fear our mittens we have soiled. That means they're dirty. You soiled your mittens, you naughty kittens. Then they began to sigh. Meow, 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 our mittens we have soiled. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea after all. Why do I listen to you? Told you so. They shouldn't have worn their mittens while they were eating. The three little kittens, they washed their mittens. Just a little more soap. Hey, that's too much. We want to get our mittens really clean. Oh no, look at them bubbles they're making. Oh, uh-oh, oops. I think we got some water on the floor. <laughs> Let's get a mop and a bucket and sponge and rags to wipe up the floor. All done. Let's put things away. These mittens sure are wet. Then they hung them out to dry. Oh, mother dear, look here, look here. Our mittens we have washed. What? Washed your mittens, you good little kittens. You are the best kittens any mother ever had. But I smell a mouse close by. Meow, meow, meow. We smell a mouse close by. I'm hungry, said the mouse. What's he going to eat? He's going to eat pie. No worries. There's plenty of pie to go around. Sit down, everyone, and use your forks. <laughs> Let's all have some pie. And they all had some pie. Thanks for helping clear the table. Want to play a game after the dishes are done? Yes, par cheesy. They're playing with the mouse. Three little kittens. Three little kittens. Do you like that book? Yeah. Okay, let's grab our scarves and then we're going to wind the bobbin up. Yay. Yeah, you <laughs> Are you baby Jacob? It's in the trap. You should shake your wrinkles out. Oh, shake the wrinkles out. Oh, Tommy, good night. Looking good. Make sure you're being nice. Okay. Push the button and figure out what it is. There we go. Are you back? Shake it, shake it. Here we gonna go. Go round and round. Wind the bobbin up. Wind the bobbin up. Pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Wind it back again. Point to the window, and then point to the door. Clap, 
Clap your hands together. One, two, three. Clap your knees. Good job, good job. Round and round. of the year, winter. Now this is a nonfiction book and reading a nonfiction book to young children is really good when you're reading the pictures. You, you're allowing them to develop their language, um, the words in their language and their vocabulary. Um, I love to read nonfiction books. I don't always read the words in the book because sometimes it's, there's too much information, but you can read the pictures. The heavy snow falls and blankets the trees. Look at all that snow on those pine trees. The smell of chimney smoke fills the frosty air. This is winter. Look, they must have a fireplace in there because they have smoke coming out of their chimney. So they must use a fireplace to keep their house warm. When is winter? Winter begins after fall. Look, he's, he's, snow, he's skiing in the snow with all the snow on the trees. It lasts through January and February. That's a long time. Winter weather. Winter days are short because Earth's tilt allows less sunlight. They are the coldest of the year. Look, somebody left their lights on because it's nighttime. And there is the Earth and it's moving around the sun. Lizards may shut down schools and businesses. Wow, look at all that snow. It's all piled up on top of those cars. The high winds cause whiteouts and snow drifts. Look, it's the United States of America. Plants and animals in winter. What happened to all the leaves from the trees? They must have died and fell off and blew away. 
and now it's dormant and the trees are going to sleep all winter. Some trees drop their leaves to save water. Evergreen leaves can hold in water. They stay on year round. These are evergreen trees. That's just a tree. Whooper swans migrating. Look at those. Those are big birds and they have webbed feet and a, and a beak. Oh, what's that? That's a groundhog. He sleeps in the winter too. He hibernates. The birds, the geese, the, the swans, they migrate. They fly away in the winter, but not the groundhog. He finds a nice warm place to sleep all winter. Ooh, what's that? That's right, that's a fox. It's a red fox. Many animals stay active. Some hunt while others eat bark or dig for stored food. Oh, squeak, squeak. It's a field mouse. They live underneath the snow. Thick fur keeps animals warm. Some animals have fur that turns white. What kind of animal is that? That's right, it's a red squirrel. It blends with the snow so predators can't see them. What's this? This is a snowshoe hare. He, what color is he? He is white. He's a white rabbit. Oh, look, they're playing outside. They have mittens and snow pants and scarves and hats. They're warm. Oh, what are they doing? They sled, skate, and ski. Inside, they warm up with their hot cocoa. So they're outside playing in the snow. Oh, look at the pretty red bird. He's a cardinal. He's in an evergreen tree because the tree stays green all the time. The seasons of the year, winter. Listen, do you have your animals? You got your, you got your animals? Find your animals. You need a, a cow and a chicken and a pig. You got that? Where's your pig? You're missing a pig. Oh, there's a pig. was an indoor cat. He'd never been outside. Our life inside is cozier, his mother said with pride. 
Those outdoor cats, they're weird and wild. They're not like us, said Dad. But Willie wondered while he watched, I bet they're not so bad. He was watching the, kitty, the other outside cats. One frosty dawn, he peeked outside and heard a joyful cry. On to winter carnival, cheered kitties sledding by. Oh, I bet he wants to go play with those kitty cats. They're going to a carnival. Woo! So Willie crouched and tiptoed out and opened the kitchen door. He longed to join their festive games. He had to see some more. Look at their houses. My goodness. A tabby hailed him. Hey, you're new. Come try a downhill run. Willie blinked. His whiskers twitched. Well, thanks. It looks like fun. Whee! Look at him sledding down the hill. Oh no, what happened to his hat? His hat fell off. He swirled atop a sled of bark careening down the slope, his tail entwined with one nearby to make a steering rope. Look, they're going up the hill and they're coming down the hill. Next, they played on icicles that hung along the roof. A tiger cat said, please you first. They landed with a poof. <laughs> they slid right off the icicles into the snow. Then all of them built snowball cats with acorns for eyes. Look, they didn't make snowmen. They made snow cats. And they used acorns for their eyeballs. They used nuts for their eyes. Before they flopped, creating shapes of angels just their size. Look, there's a snow angel. And look. Their angels have ears because cats have ears that stick up on the top of their head. A calico held out her paw and warned, the pond is slick. Willie wobbled for a while until he tried a trick. He skated out and took a leap, flying through the air. The others clapped as Willie twirled and landed with a flare. Too soon the sun was setting. Willie said, I have to go. He added, come along with me. I live indoors, you know. Oh, he's going to invite some friends home. They slipped inside and shook off snow. Then Willie turned around. He heard his mother scolding. What's this company you found? The visitors cried, sorry, ma'am, and wiped the puddled floor. They cleaned up their mess from the water they tracked in. Willie said, these cats are nice. We'd like to play some more. So they're going to play in his room. And after all the games were done, he said, new friends, drink up. Milk dripped off their whiskers while each guest enjoyed a cup. Now indoor cats and outdoor cats meet nearly every day. Together sharing friendship during all the games they play. So they all became friends and they shared what they had. Winter cats. Is this nice? I think so, yeah. I didn't take that one. We'll start taking it tonight. Okay, take it off the school bus. We can show them the new. I think we're almost done. Actually, I think you know how to snowball fight. Uh oh, let me hear. Okay, listen. You pick up all the snowballs. 
basket. Pick up the snowballs. We'll put them in the purple bucket. I got one in. Can you get one? I can get one. I'll get another. That's okay. Just like this one has that one. He has a lot, and maybe he won't chew on it. I got these.